Hello friends, welcome back, hope you're doing well. And if you're new here, I'm Jim, thanks for stopping by. Today I'm in On One Photo Raw 2023, which is still in beta, but we're getting really close to the launch date sometime in October, which is uh, which is now. Um, so the, uh, the cool thing is they keep uh, kind of releasing these features in the beta, so I get updates you know, every week or two, whatever it is. But the update I just got has the AI adaptive presets in it, which is really cool. So I thought I'd walk through, give you a few examples of how that works. Let me show you. So here is a photo. I've got two photos of a landscape, two different landscapes, of course, and then two photos from uh, the Charles Bridge in Prague, uh, taken on the same morning, but at different places and all that. So in other words, different photos, not like something that mirrors each other. And then I have a portrait. What I want to do is kind of show you how this works. And the idea behind it is essentially that they uh, they have built in their masking technology into the presets. And so you can create a mask for the sky, for example. And even though the sky will be different in each uh, different photo, the mask is going to automatically detect the sky and figure it out. So that's kind of what it is. By the way, there is a category, AI Adaptive Presets. You just click on that. And in this case, I'm going to go into Architecture, and I'm going to go into Dramatic. And what happens is, of course, it'll calculate. It'll figure out the mask, and then it'll apply that to the photo. So I click on effects and you can see that there are basically two filters in this preset. And if you look at the before and after, there it is before and there it is now. Not a huge difference, but I'm gonna show you what it did. The first filter is applying just to the sky. As you can see, if I click on the mask view, you can see it automatically detected the sky. And yes, you can refine that mask with these controls, just like in any other filter here and on one. Uh, and this is a tone enhancer. They've renamed it uh, in this case for sky, but tone enhancer. So what did it do? If you turn this off, it basically took the sky from that to that, which basically darkened it, right? Now, secondly, they've got a uh, filter built for the architecture. And again, it's automatically detecting it. You can see mask AI over here says architecture. So if I click on view, it's automatically detected the architecture. And just like the last one, you can uh, refine that mask if you want to. But I'm gonna close that masking window. And you can see this tool is actually dynamic contrast. Again, they named it architecture so that perhaps you know what it is that it's gonna be uh, impacting. And again, because we're in beta, some of this may change, including the number of presets that are included and what they do. But this is just an example of the technology at work. So you can see the architecture has had these different things applied to it. And so what I want to do is go show you how the mask will vary using a different photo, but with the same preset. So let me go back to browse. I'm going to grab this other photo from the Charles Bridge and I'm going to click on edit. And then I'm going to click on this dramatic preset. And when I click on effects, you can see here's the same two things, but with different masks. So actually, let me go to this first one first, which is sky. So if I click on the mask and view that, it automatically detects the sky. So that's what's happening. And if I go over here to architecture, click on the mask view and show you that, you can see it's detected the architecture. And that big section in the center is where that tree is. So if I turn off view, you can see there's a big tree there. So it didn't pick that up because it's not architecture. The nice thing is you can go in and just say, hey, you know what? That's what's been selected by architecture. But maybe you want to add man-made ground and flora and things like that and apply those in order to put that edit, which is dynamic contrast, across more parts of the photo. So that's how it works. As the name implies, AI adaptive presets. They use the AI to adapt themselves based on the masks in the preset filters, and they adapt to the subject that's in your new photo. So it's very flexible and powerful. Let me show you a landscape example. And in this case, I actually built my own preset just because I wanted to try it out. So I have this photo here of Lake Louise in Canada. And here you go. You can see my preset being applied to this photo. And in this case, I added a new sky as well, one of the Occudrone skies. So let me show you, clicking on effects, what I did to this photo or what it uh, what this preset contains I should say it's got tone enhancer and color enhancer as you can see there's no mask there because I applied those across the entire photo but then I use dynamic contrast twice in this preset which is something I just like to do which is this first one if you just take a look at the mask you can see that is basically outlining the mountains and the rocks and things in the foreground and this is positive dynamic contrast but another thing I like to do is add negative dynamic contrast to skies and water. And that's what I did with this second instance of dynamic contrast. You can see white reveals, black conceals. So in this case, this edit is being revealed in the sky and the water. And if I show you that, you can see it's all negative here. But also I included a, a new sky, as I said. So if you go over to sky and you can see here that it has automatically detected the sky, stuck that new sky in for me. 
and I also have optimized it for some foreground lighting and reflection. And so I was able with one click to take the photo from that to that. But the cool thing is I can go get a different photo and use the same preset and the mask will figure itself out automatically, of course. So I'm gonna go get this landscape also from the Canadian Rockies, but a different lake a number of miles away from that last one. And if I go in and click on my AI test landscape preset, there you go, you can see it automatically is applying and it's picking up the sky and the reflection and all those kind of things because it's AI and it's adaptive. So it's adapting itself to the new scene. Here's my filters, dynamic contrast, two different ways. And if you look at the mask here, you can see the sky and the water are getting the Im Im impact of this negative dynamic contrast. So that's what's so nice about these adaptive presets and the sky as well, right? So if I go in here and I take a look at that, there's this guy and, and where, it's, uh, where the new sky is being added. So that's that's what works. And it's, it's just really cool, to be honest. I'm pretty excited about this. And I have one more example, and this is just a stock photo from Unsplash, but I wanted to show you some of the possibilities here. Let me get back into AI adaptive presets. And Dan from On One did a great video demonstrating this as well. But if you're shooting studio portraits on a plain background, well, they have a preset category called studio portraits, which basically allows you to change the background. So you can come in and say, hey, I don't want that plain background and you could use this concrete background right and so what you do if you click on effects you can see textures and it's showing up and it's automatically identifying the subject and of course it's replacing the background so the background is white and the subject you know this this uh, lady she is uh, she's in black right so the texture is not applying to her so the cool thing is you can kind of audition different backgrounds, like maybe you want this other one instead, that sort of thing. So you get the point, AI adaptive presets coming in this new version of On One 2023. It's really cool. It gives you a lot of flexibility and power. And frankly, it can speed up your workflow, which is something that I think probably a lot of people are excited about. That's a, that's a preview and kind of a quick look, if you will, at what the AI adaptive presets can do. I'll be back soon with more on one videos. Just wanted to share my thoughts on this, but I'm uh, I'm impressed. I think it looks really good and this masking technology is, is tip top. So I'm excited to use it. I'm sure you are as well. Thanks for watching my friends. I'll be back soon with another video. You guys take care and until then, adios.